Your number E as a limit. We know the lateral number E is about 2.718. And today, we're going to discover E as a limit. If we let f of x equal to ln of x, then f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. The derivative of ln of x with respect to x is 1 over x. Substituting 1 into x, we get f prime of 1 equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. Remember, we can also find f prime of 1 by the definition of a derivative and express it as the limit over here. In this definition, instead of using h for the variable, we can use x as the variable. The function here, f of x is equal to ln of x, so f of 1 plus x is equal to ln of 1 plus x. And f of 1 is equal to ln of 1. ln of 1 is equal to 0. Simplifying, we get 1 over x times ln of 1 plus x. Remember the properties of log function. For this exponent b here, you can bring it in front of ln, providing that the base a here is positive. We can also reverse the process here and bring this b up here, become the exponent on a. And that's what we are going to do here. We're going to bring this 1 over x up here, become the exponent of 1 plus x. So this limit over here is equal to f prime of 1, where f of x is equal to ln of x. We also know that f prime of 1 equal to 1. So this limit here is equal to 1. So the limit of ln of 1 plus x to the 1 over x power as x approaching to 0 is equal to 1. So we can write e as e to the first power. And because 1 is equal to this limit, we're going to replace 1 here by this limit. Now, because the exponential function with base e is continuous, e to this limit of this function is equal to limit of e to this function. Remember, the exponential function with base e and the log function with base e, they are inverse function. When you compose them, they will cancel out and give you back 1 plus x to the 1 over x power. Now we have just discovered that e is this limit of 1 plus x to the 1 over x exponent as x approaching itself. We know that e is an irrational number like pi, e is about 2.7. Now let's try to see it from the graph. This is a graph for 1 plus x to the 1 over x power. As x approaching the 0 from both sides along the curve, the function value is getting closer and closer to e. Now, the lateral number e is equal to this limit. If we replace this 1 over x by n, since n and x are reciprocals of each other, we can replace x over here by 1 over n. Now, as x approaching 0 from the positive side, 
what happened to n. As x approaching to zero from the positive side, the reciprocal of that is getting bigger and bigger and going to positive infinity. So this limit over here, as x going to zero from the positive side, and go to positive infinity. Since x and n are reciprocals, x is replaced by 1 over n, 1 over x is replaced by n, so this limit can be rewritten in this form. So the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the n power as n goes to infinity is equal to e. Now, try using your calculator and put n to be 1 million and calculate this expression. This quantity, 1 plus 1 over million, raised to 1 million power, is about 2.718 to 8. That is very close to the exact value of electrical number E. We can plug in a bigger N, the result that we got will be even closer to this electrical number E. So I hope you are convinced we did a proof in the beginning, and then we initiate that by looking at the graph of the function and we also plug in a large number like a million into n, and the result is very close to e. Now, let's summarize some important limits that we have learned so far. The limit of sine of x over x as x approach to 0 is equal to 1. The limit of 1 plus x to the 1 over x power as x approaching to 0 is equal to e. And the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the n power as n go to infinity is equal to e. That's the end of our lesson, and thank you for learning with me today.